They are talking about they, they are going to analyze from website and we're going to learn a lot. That's we hope. Well, no. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope. So please yeah. give them a Thank you. Thank you for being here. Let's start with a disclaimer. It's a live performance. We don't know what the results will be. We, we need your input, we need a few websites, we're going to scroll through the websites that you mentioned and we're going to give you suggestions based on your psychology, how you could improve your website. It might go very good, it might go very wrong. I really don't know. My name is David Semang, I also had a talk yesterday with my co-worker Ian McCorkadale. There it is. Um, I'm a psychologist, he's a neuropsychologist. Wow. And hopefully we're going to improve your website for someone else a bit. So, who wants to go? You're going. Yeah. <laughs> All I need is the domain name. Lena X now. That's loud. Yeah. So? Yeah. 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 It's very hard to see, yeah. Oh, this is so difficult because you have the uh, Flemish language. <laughs> I immediately see the word afgewerkt and it's like, what? That's not right. <laughs> What happens when you scroll over these these top thingies? The navigation? Oh yeah. It's a difficult one. What if, if I look over the navigation bar what I see is that the contrast reduces. So contrast right now you you have white text color and it, this may sound as you wix, but it, there is overlap between marketing, the talk that you gave yesterday, uh, neuromarketing, UX. So sometimes you may think that's UX, but we combine it all together and then, then we, we, we name neuromarketing. Um, if you hover over your menu bar, the item that should be, that, that you're putting your attention to, you're reducing the contrast because you have a dark background and the text gets darker so you, you, you could do something with that um, and what's online success? do you want that to be such a broad definition? 
<laughs> but you could you could add a tagline and add four or five words so that your target audience immediately knows okay online success means this this and that for instance and I'm not saying you're wrong that's another disclaimer it's it's just advice it may sound like you're wrong but but you're not. And if you see anything, please check. You want to oh, I do. Yeah. This is 45. Yeah. You got font size. Even from this far away. It's too small. I love, I love you. It's on the beam, right? It's on the beam, right? On your, on your. Okay, because I'm just saying. Is it different? But put on my readers. Font size, 100 percent computed. Font size is 20 pixels. 20? Yes. Yeah. So, I think on, on, a, on a regular screen it, look, it looks better. Um, and you, you, yeah, it might be a problem, but you, you, you could increase that, that button if that's your call to action, um, because the button has a similar size as that text, so the attention could be divided between those items while you want all the attention on there. What is, uh, what is a little bit confusing to me is, um, this whole screen here, that is that is like a, a, a random site that pops up. You know, it, but it, it says, happy students, and I'm looking for, a cot is a house in Belgium, is that right? Yeah. Or a place to stay, yeah. Uh, in, in Antwerp, and it has price. So I'm immediately drawn to this part of the page as well, and it's giving me a whole sorts of information that it's not about. Um, it's not connected to exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's what drew me off. What, as, as a suggestion, you could have a picture of yourself. Um, then you make it. I have that on my about page. Exactly, but but you say hi on your on your own. So right. if you add a picture of yourself over here, you could also use eye gazing, um, and that we we tend to follow the eyes of persons that are on a screen. So you could look down, and that way you are directing the attention downwards, so chances of scrolling down will increase by doing that. So if you have, if you have a little rune looking up at the button, that would direct all the attention toward the button. And yeah, you, you, could look to the, you, you could look up. Yeah, or, and yeah, because that, you see this... Again, <laughs> to and the, the, the science behind that is that we as humans have a extremely overdeveloped um, visual cortex. So for faces, we are extremely adept at seeing faces. That's why we see faces in all sorts of like wall sockets and uh, maybe even your toilet bowl looks like a, mine does, like a face. We see faces everywhere. Uh, that's why faces we scan and we see them immediately and we're like, oh, it's important. And especially the eyes, those are the most important feature in a face. So when you have a picture of a face looking at something, we all start to look at what they're looking at. And you can do this w when you walk on the street and start looking up. Just see how many people follow and start looking up. It's like, oh, totally we have to, yeah, yeah. It's hard, it's hard to stop. Even if you think, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all. And it's about you, uh, over here. It's about what you could do, but it's about what you can do for your customers. So your customers should be first. So not using the word I or me. Is that and, and, and replace that with you works better as well. Yeah. That's I'm not shifting the frame. What you can do, I mean, just what you can do for me. Yes, no. that, uh, what was the practical meaning of that sentence? Because I, I, to me, you just said the same thing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, for you. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty yeah? different. Services, who do you need help with? Do you need help with? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not, I can help you with, but I, I can do this. Right. Oh. The, well, Google Chrome is translating it for me. Yeah. And it says discover what I can do for you. Yeah. So it's saying that yeah. in English. Yeah. But it's still what yeah. I can do for you. It's still about the I in the first it's about part. The I. Basically, framing what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's the same information, but it's about how you're yeah. it. Yeah. And it sh should be as less about you and as much about your 
audience. prospector audience, yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, the the another recommendation you could do your recent work links directly to the website. I, I, I make it a landing page on your website, and from there they can move on to customer. And you can even use that landing page if you have a disclaimer on their website. You can use that landing page as the link on their website. So, uh, for pay, pay, pay pro, what is it? Pay? Oh, Pivo. Uh, Pivo. <laughs> <laughs> you create a landing page, and from their page, from their page, you link to that landing page. Because people have the context of their website, and they land on your website with that context again. So they feel familiar, familiar already on your website. And from there, you can get them deeper in your funnel if you want to. Um, but familiarity also helps. And what what happens on the bottom on that, that red thing? What does that do? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's uh, yeah. That should I, that should I do something. <laughs> yeah. The is, there are the, the don't push me buttons. You have to and you have to press. This, this is one of those don't push me buttons that everybody wants to click on. <laughs> An extreme so, form. Do a contact form or, or make it funny. Jokes always helps. Make them happy, make them smile. So, wow, you click this button. It does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of my logo, yeah. All right, all right. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, but, so, but you could do something with that. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Um. So it says here, you can make this and then you go, you get product information. For the services. Yeah. We're talking about this section. Yeah, I, I didn't see that. No. And the contact page, um, what I see me doing right now is I, have to, uh, I want to email you, uh, to select the text, go to Gmail. You can click it. Now you can click yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Make this a button or uh, make it a clear call to action. A, a, a more clear call to action. Okay, so here you can click it. Yeah, exactly that. Okay. And could, could you go back up a little bit? To the... Last thing, yeah. Uh, some more, some more, some more. Is there's no social proof anywhere? Yeah, social yeah. proof of any kind. Yeah, he has links to his Facebook page, but not from other people saying, "Hey, I tried this. This is great." This. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Okay, because that's a very strong psychological effect that works every time. Yeah. Uh, it, it also works to put yeah. social proof on the yeah. page as well. On the page. Yeah. yeah. It's it's about generating trust, creating trust, and social proofs increases the trust that they have in you. And it doesn't have to be about the service that you offer. It could be that you gave a talk at a work camp in Nijmegen, and that someone said, "Well, your room was really blah 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 blah." Put it up there. Put a face next to it. Put a name if that one person wants to. You could even link to the website of that person or to his LinkedIn profile. Then it's social proof. It says something about you. And people trust the opinion of someone else. So your trust increases. Mm -hmm. uh, from, um, uh, Twitter, or Facebook, it could help, but it depends what you have in your timeline. timeline. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have no control over that, so it's it's better to have something that's not not that binary. There are people who are using favorites from. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, shall we do another one? Because other than that, it's pretty cool. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should be mentioned. But by the way, what what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> well, you could you could you could add here more clear. I built a website with, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm over here. 
This is where I land. This is where I land. And, and okay, online success, online success, but what's online success? So the tagline, for instance, could help uh, building beautiful WordPress websites, building responses, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. Then I know immediately what you can offer to me. What is relevant to me? Pick one. Not on my Microsoft sites, please. Sorry? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> my attention is draining. Yeah? Yeah. I see this. But what's happening? I see this is yeah, it's a little moving. it's a little busy. Screen is moving. I see those screens move as well. Change as well. The chair is changing. The Fakatura one is pretty smart though. That little eye on the, yeah. that little iPhone thingy. Yeah, that's pretty smart. I'm trying to build a case for a rebuild. And, and so, so what? Uh, so yeah. what, what you do mostly is looking for full stack web developers, because that's what what. That's the company's that's, purpose. Yeah. Is it? No. no. Okay. It's not. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no. That's, that's what my brain's telling me. Websites. <laughs> and, and, oh dear. Printing uh, And and again, it's all about you, but it's about me because I might be a. Customer. Yeah, there's there's basically too much going on at the same time to, to yeah. <laughs> but this is good that you use social proof. Adding adding a face of you, adding a face would really add more value to it as well. Yeah, or the yeah, it just says Baker McKenzie or do there. Nobody knows. And this should all have more white space in between, all these little blocks. Because there's there are one, two, three, four, five, six and a half blocks on the same page. And you don't know where to start really, where to start reading is it, because that's a quote, that's yeah. a thingy, that's a bit of text. And is this, is this a quote, these orange text, or is it a heading? I think uh, the, the purpose of it is uh, editing. Okay. Okay. Then it, then it might need more connection with the paragraph mm -hmm. underneath it. Yeah. Right. It needs to be right above the, the text. Would it be better if they switch right, the text on the left? And um, that could work as well because we read in a capital F. That's how we scan the website. So this location, this chance that this is the first location that people land their eyes on are pretty high. Mm -hmm. So moving most important content to the left side of the page could work. But, and I'm sure it's again, visually? Visually, the most important stuff is on the, uh, no, the, the, these things should be on the right, for instance. These, yeah, that should be on, on the, the bottom right. Because that's where we expect them to be, or on the bottom. Um, but I, I agree with you what you said about the text being on the left, because that's where we expect text to begin. So that's that would, yeah. Oh, is it? Really? Are they testing in any? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. This is pretty. Does anyone know what what it says over here? Uh, yeah. How, how many seconds did it take you to read it to understand it? Yeah. It took me. I I I, I saw the law, but I couldn't see what this was. So from from a processing fluency point of view, you yeah. could use an easier font. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I thought I also got part of the signature. And, and is there nothing there on your... Let me have that. Well, that, that's kind of weird. I suppose the... Uh, is it this other? No, it can be. It's empty, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hè? Ik heb bijna het vermoeden dat er ergens een diffje net even anders op wacht heeft. Ik moet testen. En helemaal onderaan de pagina. Het ligt niet aan mijn computer. Nee, het is gek. Hij is gek. Oh ja. Oh ja, daar is het. Dus test je website met je adblocker aan en met je adblocker af. Because that was what happened. Aha. Oh, uh, this is all very good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that your job done now? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, don't I want to be done. No, exactly. Yeah. It's a question or a demand? No. Oh, right. <laughs> and, and anyone else is demanding? Yes. No. It's up. Okay, well, you can, you can have a break or you can stay here and... Oh, wow. <laughs> I do a small one. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you the So, if you want to have your website uh, checked, just build them in the Norway and then uh, they'll check them. We'll right? stay here, we'll stay here. Yeah, and yeah. then you can link afterwards so you can still ask them to check your website out. They'll do a little bit in the hands. Yeah? Um, so, uh, that's that? Okay. Uh, first, I have to tell you all, get a t-shirt if you didn't get a t-shirt yet, because uh, there's a lot of t-shirts yet, and if you didn't order a t-shirt or you said you didn't want it, still get a t-shirt. Okay? Give it to somebody who's going to be happy with it. And then, there's a the lovely little suitcase. It's not necessary. You already arranged that. I'm going to hand it out of your place. Yeah, but you're not going to win. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love one. Good, that's Thank a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. The phone is back, my wife, not me. Oh, for the break. We're not going for a break, so if you want to have your side checked as well, stay here and we'll continue. Yeah, the break doesn't start until something. Yeah, it's quarter past three. Yeah, and it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we all agree we can stay. Yep. <laughs> We're doing the second section, so it's starting right now. Let's take another one. Yeah. Okay. So, does anyone has a domain name? From, from oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Het is ook heel leuk, hè? Ja, is. Ja, ik heb Ik heb no idea what's going on. And this is this is the this is the landing page where this is okay, yeah. I I would say uh, scrap the movie thing, uh, maybe move it down because this is too. I'm not seeing any of the buttons or any of the the logos or brands. I saw Heineken come by somewhere. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's no way to stop this. Should I scroll down? Yes, please. Alright. Oh. I would contrast over here. Yeah, it's a lot of white. Almost all of the. It's 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 good that you that you that you've underlined what you do. It's crystal clear. It makes it so easy for me to understand what you're doing. I know what you're doing, but if I didn't, I know what you're doing right now. Uh, and because you're using the parallax effects, the attention is drawn to that effect as well. It shows when it gets into QL. Oh dear. 
So you are drawing my attention to the best possible WordPress website in WordPress. Do that sentence. But then over here, there's this contrast is too low right now. Over there, the letters are on. Yeah, bits of freedom too. They're disappearing. This is good as well that you have the, the face of the kind of contact. Go see Jeffrey. And Samwerk and Yao Khui, that's a pretty good one. It's short working together for your growth, so that's a that's a perfect little one. And does does this little ten ten year erfaring up suck does that say the same as the one in the top? Could you go a little to the bottom? Oh it's L V R Fire. So there's a Depending on how long you read. If you can do something with PHP still, I think. Put a year to write for one, then. It's in the game, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it's in the game, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it's in the game, I'm not going to do it. But what, I, I like this, but this is about all about you. And that's what, what, if I read it again, it starts to bother me. I, I yeah. don't need to know that you were 20, 20 something, and I don't need to know that. It's modern. You realize modern websites. It's what you do, but it's what about you need to do for me. It's about my problem and your solution. And and uh, yeah, I, I would think about the figure as well. Yeah. It's a little distracting. Yeah. It's also about you. Yeah. 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 But I know you switch locations, so it might be fine yeah, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you initially only had the tram as video. I think it was a shorter video that you used, but that was that was. It was before my time. Yeah, and that was better, I think. It's a really nice video, though. It's, there's lots of happy faces and and fun stuff going on, but it's it's it is something you have to click on to want to watch, and not something that is right there all the time. With that. Uh, about us, yeah. 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 But what, what's good that this this is clearly a secondary menu item, and that's that's clearly visible. Yeah. You don't have to think about it whether what, what what are the most important links. So you want them to see portfolio and contact you, and if they if they want to see more, then they have the uh, about you news, book, black papers, such and such items. Mr. I would like to know why I can't. I mean, it's very unimportant. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... that's it's the logo, yeah. It's yeah, the logo as well. You, yeah. But, yeah. You like the underlined uh, sentence, tagline? But yeah, it's what... Don't you expect it to be a link now? Mm -hmm. It is not at this time. Yeah, you, you could be... Uh, confused right now because the in the main navigation the home is on the, the, the current page is on the line as well, so that could that could confuse. Yeah. Well, what did you see from house state about uh, making some words like more uh, uh, more visible or? Some words really important because you in the line. If it's not good, can you do that? Yeah, yeah that's what we said. Like, uh, maybe just give them another color, or maybe uh, make it uh, italic. Yeah. That's make them stand yeah. out as well, and not give them yeah. an idea of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's up and down. Well, the question, the question was, what, what, do you, what does yours think about? Um, um, putting more emphasis to some words, so for instance, making them bold or adding color to them. And then the response was add color uh, or emphasize them, but then you said you didn't like that. Oh, help. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, think, but, I, I think maybe the underlining is for the 
period. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And emphasizing yeah. words is just really fine for people's kind of websites. Yeah. We do that in our sales yeah, copy, but I never get yeah. No, but that's exactly because you make it more easier for them to, to scan the information if you highlight the most important words. Yep. So if, if you, well, you, you use it in the prospects, uh, in, what was the product page? Yeah, on the product page, yeah. We do that. yeah. And you make it easier for people to quickly know whether they're on the right page and whether the information you're offering is what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, so you could use that. You are making, you are using a processing fluency. It's easy for them to, to see what, what they can find on that. It's a bit the same with that information. Yeah, exactly. Shall we move on to the next one? Sure. Uh, I see you I see you I see I, I, to me, this feels too small. Sometimes, also, it's it's about feeling, and to me, this feels too small. The header, because there's also a lot of context on the screen immediately. So I see the um, is it the reviews? Yeah, reviews immediately. I see here big green button, see blue bar. So there's a lot of me to consume instantly. And these, these look like uh, two calls to action buttons, they're both green, but they do different things. So you might want to think about which one is more important and make just that one green and the other one a slightly different color. Because now you can't change it. You can't change it? Uh, no. <laughs> I, would, I would actually just suggest you uh, use the text that are on the screen store in, on, the, on the other one and then you can link to that website and not include the like this. Right. Yeah. yeah, so just use the text. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. not use the, the widgets. Okay. Yeah. If you're your own website, probably will also do something for speed. Okay. And it says uh, share your experience. So you must be a customer already, I think, because otherwise you don't know what the experience is. So moving this widget to a page where a customer lands, for instance, after a checkout or in their online dashboard or uh, in, in the plugin page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it, it's good it's over there, but, but it, there are two call to actions, yeah. so I need to decide which one will get the most attention. And you, you get best by making this a bigger button, um, but still there's a conflict. And this is, you, you could, for instance, over here, highlight some of the words. Um, so it says uh, enhance knowledge for academics. Make those two words bold. That's that's the main point of your sentence. Um, uh, professional results, uh, easy to, and then then people will scan it. And if you highlight the most important words, you they, they can scan it even quicker. And these are the ones that are going to stick, actually, the bold words. Most of the time we mention processing fluency because that's one of the, the top level processes, one of the most important pro processes. So the easier it is to scan, to read, to, to get an overview, um, the better it works. And the more positive the whole experience is being um, experienced. Does this have to be a sentence? Because you could be with a question mark. Because right now you start thinking. Um, am I dependent on my web designer? I'm not sure. Then you lost me. You could have lost me. So if that's what you do, if that's your solution to that problem, then, then I Make it an exclamation mark. Yeah. You know what I like in the menu items? Where it says consistent with them? That's something that says for the menu. Like most people do Teamster, 
If I can click on it, so I, now I expect to see curses, to, to see customer steps. Yeah, that's, okay. that's exactly what I see. Uh -huh. So if you do that, the page also has to do what you tell them before they see it. Well, but can, you, can you say that what I can reveal instead of me? But then it's about you. Uh, Not about the customer. Mm -hmm. but what's a good, what's a good sentence for things? Yeah. I don't want to use the word. Could be services. Yeah, that's not a word. Yeah. That's more describing, not so automated. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I can explain it then. Yeah, no, it, it depends, and sometimes you need to use these words. Sometimes there's no alternative. Okay. Is this an actual training situation? Mm -hmm. What I see on the image? So it's an online training. Or are you yeah, together? Yeah, there's more online training. Yeah. yeah. Good. You know, because I see someone, she, she's looking at a screen. That's what my brain assumes. Um, and there's another laptop here. But the, uh, to me, it feels like so you oh, go you to. This is the picture. No, it isn't. This isn't. Does it look like more like a lab setting or something? Uh, yeah. With experimenters or. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So that might be confusing if it's just about. Um, Internet training at home. Oh, a right. So, would you say that we need the image of a tutor and a student in this image? Do well, we need a, a transaction of some sort? Then you're using priming. My, my brain scans that image immediately and they see a tutor and a student. Mm -hmm. And then my brain triggers all the associations that they have with that situation. And then the text will become easier to scan because all the words associated with that situation are already on top of my mind. Um, so you could you, you could improve this section by using an image of an actual training situation and try to show her face because we're drawn to it. And if you put it over here, put him over here, looking this way, you can have a call to action button over, button over there. So then you're using priming on the image and you're using eye gazing to get them to full traction. But so um, you have like this, this uh, I was posting to mine, so when the website goes to mobile, all pictures will be okay. Yeah. So you have to have that different picture or like Well you could move the image on top of the text. Okay. And then I think looking down. But yeah, that's a situation that you need to work with, you need to experiment with. What you could also do over here is move the image to the left because we scan from left to right. So first we see the image, we're primed with a training situation, and then we read the text. So and it's, it's situations that you, that you need to... Yeah. Just the other... Um, by placing... Our brains have two hemispheres, two different separate hemispheres, and the uh, area for visual, uh, for working is on the right, and for textuals is on the left, and your eyes cross in the middle of your brain. So whatever enters your left field of vision, if it's an image, it gets processed faster and easier and therefore more positive, and text on the right. So this should be flipped, actually, right yeah. around. Yeah. It could be flipped, yeah, yeah. to enhance yeah. processing. Yeah. Is it? Is, is it the other way around? No, no, no. I, I think in the earlier session, <coughs> we were trashing through the record, but now you see. We're used to texting on the left. Yeah, yeah but it's text. It's yeah, text if it's just only. if it's just text, right. yeah. And if you move the image to the right, and you, there are two different two different things. If you move the image to the right, left, I'm sorry, image to the left, you are using priming. Mm -hmm. The image is processed immediately within 30 milliseconds, and all uh, nodes associated with that image are primed. So people expect that what they see in the image is on the right in the text. And then the text is easy, easier to consume. Then you're using priming. Mm -hmm. But if you move the image to the right, like it is right now, and have the text on the left, you're not using priming. But you can use gaze following, for instance. So it's not, it's, it's not that you're doing something wrong. You're, you're using different concepts. 
We're still using priming a bit. If people start to scan from the right side, if they were top right and then look down, see the image, move left with their eyes, because we don't always look, we're not, we're not consistent in how we scan a website. We look everywhere, and from there we make the puzzle complete and make a judgment about that. So, so you could, you need to test with that. Um, what do you think about mobile? Because now you need to Job, you know, that, uh, changes. Uh, you know, look at the I would first look at your analytics. How many mobile users actually check out? Or are they just informing themselves about what you do? Yeah. And from there on, I, I'd make different decisions. So are they really checking out? Then you might need to use a different you might need to decide to use a different image on mobile that follows, that, that directs their attention to your call to action, to the next step in your funnel. If, there, if it's just about information, you could, you could remove that image on mobile, for instance. So, Especially because he's looking like curiously, like. What? <laughs> Open your image editor, crop, move to the left, and then you're using eye gazing to read this text. It's on the left. That'd be my first recommendation. That's, I, I was, it, I made, it was looking over here. But she, she, she's grabbing the attention, and the, the, the circles that you have on yours as well, they're sort of directing me further into that direction, and then, okay, there's nothing there. And there's a huge cookie GDPR thing, I know. But you might want to make that a bit easier. So I, I'm, we all know that we're not interested in all these text, so maybe you pull that. For instance, but I like it. You the, the, the alignment. It's nicely aligned. Yeah. It seems to the, this block seems to fit tie in correctly with the cookie notification. So I like that. I'm not too sure about the icons. Here I see a lock. Uh, and I see a jet fighter over here. And thinking about Facebook. The bets. My message. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, they're a bit confusing. Um, and I'm not sure whether they're really strengthening your message. Everything for performance. I don't need. I don't need a jet fighter icon next to that sentence to understand what it is. Um, so, so you might want to test if you remove them for your conversion drops or increases or. And there's no one call to action button on this page, is there? It's like one. It's like it's bureau of three yeah, separate to, things. You need to accept the cookie and you need yeah, exactly. That, that, yeah. that could be the two call to actions that people see on your on your website. But I think that this is the call to action. No? I think this is the call to action. Yeah, okay. Basically, the idea was how we designed it is that uh, yeah, we have uh, different kind of target audiences. So you have them on there, like the agencies, developers, and companies. Mm -hmm. um, 
If people uh, think they are one, they are fitting this target audience. The idea of the UX design was that they directly click on one of those addresses. Mm -hmm. So you go to a, a more personal page for you. Uh, and if you don't feel recognized in one of these target audiences, you probably just call that. Yeah. There's more information from us. Yeah. So yeah, we did think about it, of course. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So this is what needs to grab the attention immediately. If I understand you correctly. Yeah, but if you are a developer, you probably the developers you don't have to work out for you. you yeah. Because you recognize. Yeah, but you, you you want the attention to go over this. That's what that's what you're telling. You 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 hope that everybody they makes a decision decide, whether yeah. they're an agency, whether they're a developer, or whether they're a company. But the attention is not drawn to that section. The attention was over here, and then I was confused because there was nothing there. And then I start scanning to see. Okay, here might be that I need to go that button on his cookie. I'm doing the chat. No, it's not. And so if if, if this is really the call to action, because I think that, that that's, project, that's the goal that you want to achieve here. Get yeah. them to their contact specific landing page. Then you need to draw the attention to that section. Make it a blue section, for instance, with, with white text on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's green, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let, let, let someone look down to that box. It's green, yeah. click me, you, look at me. I'm the the price price. I'm sorry? Can you click to the price price code? Because we, we did the visual thing right, I think. I'm just wondering what you think about it. Uh, <laughs> do, you know, do you know about anchoring? <laughs> yeah. Anchoring, anchoring, basically, price, paying, seeing euro, uh, seeing uh, uh, dollar signs or euro signs, that actually hurts. Our brain has a pain center, and that pain center lights up. If you do an fMRI scan, that lights up if we see price or we need to pay, or we need to actually put our euros on the counter. And Is that the Dutch thing? I'm sorry? Is that the Dutch thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you could reduce the price pain by, for instance, anchoring. Anchoring is we make our decision based on the first information that we receive. So if this was the first information, 290 euros. I'd say, whew, that's cheap. Mm -hmm. well, why do you think the anchor but, is? Because there is an anchor. Where, where is it? At 11 euros, because that's the first information I see. That's my anchor. That's really expensive. Yeah, it should be PPS1. That's, that's, that's what you desire. Right. Let's choose and then most people this is a real small indication that, that one picks a blue line that oh. that is your anchor. Oh, okay. No, exactly. So, mm -hmm. so I, I know that's the anchor, but, but I see this because it's not clearly highlighted. So make it a blue background with a white button. Boom, in your face. I don't even have to think about it anymore. Do I want to spend less? Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I need to be a bit bigger. Or with anchoring, you could start. We were at the restaurant yesterday evening, and they applied anchoring to the menu. They started with the most expensive item on top of the list, and they sorted it by what was it? Meat, fish, vegetables. So it was one list, but it was divided, and all the three sections started with the most expensive item. So if you don't want to spend 20 euros on a menu, 90 or 18 euros is cheap. Yeah. It's been up. <laughs> so to, to, can you, if, using the, I'm, I'm wrapping, wrapping up. Uh, for instance, the, the blue background, white text on it, then you're really drawing your attention to it. Um, you could switch it around, start with the most expensive and, and with the cheapest one, um, or keep it as it is with the, with the box. That's it. Thank you.